Hello, how are you? Yes. Yes. Great to be here. Uh, as Mark told you, I'm Fiona. I'm from Ireland. I'm from Dublin. Woo! Yeah, yeah. I live here. I live in Canada now. I live here now. I moved here. How long ago did I move here? I moved here about 32 pounds ago. I am loving Tim Hortons. Loving it. They don't have it in Ireland. Did you know that? It doesn't exist. You cannot drive up to a window in Ireland and have an Indian woman sell you donuts and coffee. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. You're so lucky to have that service here. I love it. And I'm gonna be huge next year, and I don't mean famous. I've seen them. I'm gonna be on a motorized scooter huge. I'll have a flag. I'll be sponsored by Tim Hortons. Ramps up to all the stages for me. Hire a man to wash in between all my creases. Can't wait. It's gonna be great. But, uh, but being Irish here and having this accent, it's a big novelty. Big novelty for everybody. But one of three things is guaranteed to be said to me every day. Every day. First thing is, people hear me and they want to tell me that they are also somehow Irish. <laughs> so they hear me and they're like, oh my god, you're Irish! I just did Ancestry.com, I'm 5% Irish! And I'm, and I'm like, yeah, I 100% don't give a shit, okay? <laughs> Second thing that happens is people want to do an impression of an Irish person to you. And if you're laughing, it means you've done it. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Something like this. Some, Top of the morning, have you had your lucky charms? Yeah, you. Yeah. I hate you. <laughs> that happens is uh, people want to tell you an Irish racist joke. Now, are there any Americans in here tonight? Good. I was at a party two weeks ago and this really annoying American woman came up to me and she said, oh my God, let me tell you a joke about the Irish. And she said, what is the difference between an Irish wedding and an Irish funeral. One less drunk. I know. That's awful. That's the shit I'm facing here. Like, I, it's true. <laughs> Jeez, that's my mom. But uh, I drop my son to school in the morning, 9 a.m. every morning. And at 9 a.m., he's in grade two, the teacher sees me. And at 9 a.m. every morning, the teacher says to me, Oh, Miss O'Brien, off to the pub now. Woo -woo -woo -woo. <laughs> every morning, in front of everybody. <laughs> and I had to stop her one day and I said, Excuse me, that is extremely rude and ignorant and stupid for you to say that to me. Because the pubs don't open till 11. <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> yeah. But even the kids in the school, the kids in the school come up to my kids and they're like, why does your mom talk like a pirate? <laughs> shows recently I, I was in Muskoka and this woman came up to me after the show and she had a beautiful Irish accent I said where are you from in Ireland you sound like you're from the north from Belfast and she said no no I'm not Irish she said just I only like to have sex with Irish men <laughs> and I said I don't think that's how it works <laughs> I said, if that was the case, I would have a very thick Jamaican accent. <laughs> but uh, a bit more about me. Uh, I have a 
twin. I have a twin. I remember I was in bed one night with this guy and I told him that I had a twin. And oh my god, very excited. I'm really excited. He wasn't as excited when he met Frank. <laughs> Frank was disappointed. <laughs> but uh, I'm a good Irish Catholic, which means unhappily married for 12 years. Three kids, I'm exhausted. Now, I don't know if you know this, but did you know that abortions were illegal in Ireland? Did you know that? You could go to jail for 14 years if you had an abortion, yeah. And uh, we had a big referendum there last year, and everybody voted. And it just came into law two weeks ago that women can now have abortions in Ireland. Don't fucking clap. It's too late for me. What the fuck? I got on to the Irish government and I said, like, have I any recourse here? Exciting news. Do you want to hear my exciting news? Yeah. I got divorced in June, so I'm back on my birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Guys aren't as excited when they hear about the kids. Yeah. Few things I want to tell those guys. Number one, all those children were born by cesarean sections. Undercarriage is in perfect working order. And now I come with a built-in headrest. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Number two, all those kids have their own iPads. They're not even going to notice you going down to me, I swear to God. I have not made eye contact or spoken to those bastards in two years. It's going to be fabulous. You know, but uh, I'll tell you a little bit. Uh, it's crazy being back on, on the scene now, back in the market, because how you meet people, you have to go online, you have to create profiles, take photos from angles, all this, you know, too old for this shit. I'm too old for this, you know, like I lost my virginity when I was 18. Is there anyone in here tonight in their 20s? I'm not looking at the front row. <laughs> oh, you're in your 20s, what's your name? Chris, how old are you, Chris? Are you enjoying being 24, Chris? Yeah, good. Do you know what I want to tell you, Chris? I have had sex every Saturday of your life. 